All right, here we are. We've got a bit of a dual unboxing going on here. Um, we've jumped on the vehicle oven bandwagon and got ourselves a travel buddy. Uh, the uh, 12 volt marine oven, as you can see here. Um, basically, it's ideal for basically anywhere you've got uh, 12 volts available and you want to heat some food up. Uh, this one here is just manufactured and designed in, in Australia by Crystal Air. And um, yeah, it's a really good product. Aussie made, that's why we're reviewing it. And um, we've also got a couple other products here from uh, Kaon 4x4 up in Queensland. We've done a bit of an upgrade here to our travel buddy and uh, we're going to go through what we've got. Now the unit itself, here it is. It comes factory with a cigarette outlet, cigarette lighter plug and um, forums already sort of say that you uh, change that to an Anderson plug, stop it rattling around and give it a good connection. But that is what it does come with. Um, the unit itself, pretty basic. This is how it's packaged, came out, just had a little bit of a bit of uh, foam on it and a bit of plastic. The door doesn't come with the lock or handle, you've got to assemble that. The, the lock and catch is in here inside. Pretty easy, it's like it comes with a bag, two trays. Let's open it up, have a look. So it comes with uh, trays for the unit, so they'll slide in, one in the top, one in the bottom, like so. Comes with some instructions, gives you guys some cooking tips about pies, casseroles, roast for two, actually how to use the oven. It's got, uh, it's got a thermostat, Heats to approximately 190 degrees, has a timer here, and uh, it has a, a light to tell you when it um, reaches temperature and when it would be run out of time. Reckons the uh, unit itself only get warm to touch. And in here we come, comes with two brackets, so if you just want to fit the unit straight down to say the floor of the vehicle or a hard surface you've got, it's got these little jiggers that just go in the side. And these little slots here, allowing you to fix it down. And the door handle. Phillips head, quite easy. Just pull it from the back. Now we decided to do the uh, the oven door cover upgrade. I uh, weren't sure if it was going to be a hundred percent worth the money to do, um, just because how much loss is through this front door. It's the only bit that's uninsulated, but we figured, what the heck? We'll grab one, we'll chuck it on, and never have to worry about it again. So in the box here, it comes with fitting instructions. It's handy. It's a packet of. So it has a drill bit for us, some flat-headed Allen keyed bolts and some nuts. The nuts appear to be five and a half mil. Now, nothing up much else in the box. The door itself comes in a protective film. Now you can see that they've just folded the corners here, here. I don't know, maybe a weld might have looked prettier, but folded just folds just good, good enough. Nice and basic. And a bag full of insulation. I won't take that out just yet until the ins installation, because I'm tipping this might be itchy. As you can see with the door here, you just take off the handle. And to center it over, it doesn't actually fit flush over that the sides here. It just, they want to give you a nice sort of a flush finish there. So when we go to the installation, 
what we're going to do is center the door over the old door, use a textile mark our holes, drill them, nut and bolt through each. See, so it's got each end. Peel the protective film off, fix it to the unit. And before we put the unit on, we've got to put our little handle back on. So otherwise we'll have to take it off again, put it on. So that's the door. Now the trays. So we went for the half height tray. So uh, we could have got an additional tray in the, the, the top of the range upgrade pack that would take up the whole space, but we went for two small drawers. So inside this one, gives a nice little sticker. We've got the, uh, the trivet, which just sits in this, obviously with the packaging on. on KS0188. Nice finish. Really good job. It's a little bit curved. I guess I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but that's just the way it is. Drop straight in. Probably might rattle around the vehicle. Sitting in there, but what doesn't? And then the tray itself. This one is the k -On Looks like a KS0042. And uh, yeah, look at the corners are all nice finish. Welded, no sharp edges. So it's 304 brushed stainless, uh, food grade apparently. And this is part of the, the upgrade pack. Obviously, in the upgrade pack, you have a second box with the same thing. Another sticker, another drawer. Now, this drawer is exactly the same as the other one. It just drops in. Flip that around the right way. Close up nicely. Now, what I was thinking is if I took this out and dropped the drawer in itself, I think it's going to rattle too much. It's not, uh, it's not these. This person's design, design folder or anything, it's just metal on metal and drawers. So like this one, it's got the tray left in. It sits nice and snug. Definitely be leaving these in to pin these in place. There you have it. So we're going to do the install of the door and chuck it in the car. All right, so we're going to chuck the door on. We're going to center up the cover over the door, the existing door. Take our marker. Mark the holes. A battery drill. Get the drill a bit supplied in our packet. Yeah, double head one. So we can't stuff this up. Thank you. 
that drilled really easy. I didn't even need to uh, do a punch or anything like that. It just the drill bit that was supplied was definitely sharp enough. And we do the same for the other side. I'm going to peel the film off and chuck the handle on.
the, uh, the bolts just dropped in there, holds on quite nicely. You just open it up, get your nuts on the inside, pull them up. Sticker for good measure. All right, there you have it. There's the, the door install, a couple of trivets, some trays, K-On 4x4. So there's a few manufacturers that make these items. Um, we just like the upgrade pack. We thought we'd give it a go. Try Australian, of course. Um, product has not disappointed. It's the quality of these things. Outstanding. Looking forward to uh, cooking in it. Now, I think what I'm sort of thinking about the Travel Buddy is that it's definitely good for heating and cooking some things. It's probably, I'm not going to be cooking my massive Sunday roast in it every day. For us, it's more about um, just heating up quick foods to eat on the, on the, on the road for the kids and that. And uh, when we do a big trip, we're just actually going to package, pre-package our meals in the size of these trays, have them ready in the fridge or freezer. As we need them, we're going to drop them straight in, uh, unwrap them, drop them straight in, heat them up, and um, yeah, it's going to be a two-week trip with uh, no real supplies. We'll take everything with us. So I think that's how we're going to uh, try and keep the weight down in the vehicles. Um, all right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Go check out K-On 4x4. We'll leave the links and in the descriptions down below, any comments or questions, you know, add them in. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. And uh, if you're looking for a travel buddy, here you go, travelbuddy.net.au. Check them out. We'll leave those links down below as well. Till next time.